Hi there. Today, me and my friend Bob, we're gonna look at the skull. So we're gonna discuss cranial anatomy and facial anatomy. All right, so what I have in my hand is the skull. So we're gonna discuss cranial bones and facial bones. So there are eight cranial bones and there are 14 facial bones. They have their functionality and that's what we're gonna look at. So the frontal bone protects the lobe, face, and the internal structure of the frontal brain. So the frontal bone is separated by the coronal suture from the parietal bones. Parietal bones are also separated by the suture. This suture is called sagittal or mid-sagittal suture. But if you look at the back posteriorly, the parietal bones are also articulated with occipital bone. And there's also a suture. So the parietal bones also articulate through this suture, right, through the sagittal suture and lombodoid suture. So the parietal bone, they form the side and the cranial roof. On the lateral side, we have a temporal bone. So the temporal bone articulates with parietal bone. There are two temporal bones, like two parietal bones. If this is the two parietal, this is the temporal, and this is the temporal. So they articulate via the suture. This suture is called squamous suture. So that they on both sides. So let's recap. Six cranial bones. So there are eight cranial bones, but six are visible. Frontal bone, occipital bone, two parietal bones and two temporal bones. Two, four, and two makes six. The other two cranial bones are ethmoid bone, it's right here in the nasal cavity, and this sphenoid bone looks like a bat. So the main feature of the occipital bone, that's the posterior bone, is this huge hole. It's called magnum foramen. So this magnum foramen helps to pass for the spinal cord. So the spinal cord passes right through the, all of the vertebrates. So you see this magnum foramen, and if I put it right on top of the vertebrates, so the spinal cord will go right into each vertebrate right here, and will go all the way down. So that's where the spinal cord will pass through. So if we look at the base of the skull right here, so that's the sphenoid bone. So the sphenoid bone makes the base of the skull. It's like a foundation. So when other cranial bones are able to articulate with that sphenoid bone. And also the sphenoid bone houses the pituitary gland. That's the master endocrine gland. So you see these fissures right here, right? If we'll stick finger right there. So that's a fissure or this foramen, that's a pass for the aptic nerve because the acular organs are sitting right here and projecting their optic nerve through the sphenoid bone. So the ethmoid bone is a part of the nasal cavity and this nasal septum right here. So we just have discussed eight cranial bones, frontal, occipital, two parietals, two temporals, one ethmoid, and one sphenoid. So now let's discuss facial bones. So there are 14 facial bones. So this is a mandible, the chin, right? So that articulates with the maxilla. So the mandible is just one bone, right? So it articulates with the rest of the skull through the TMJ joint, temporal mandibular joint. Temporal bone, mandible, right? Temporal mandibular and this is a joint. Then another two facial bones are the maxilla. So here's a fissure right here that separates one side and another side, that's the maxilla. So if you look inferiorly, so here's a fissure and that fissure fuses at the age of 11, 12, 13 initially. So it's like two separate bones. So there's the fissure is just a crack in the bone normal crack. So it's a two bones, right? Maxilla, two maxilla and one mandible. 
So the maxilla articulates directly with the zygomatic bone. So this is the zygomatic bones. And the zygomatic bones contribute to orbitals. So the one part of the orbital is part of the frontal bone. Another part of the orbital is the zygomatic bone. And these two bones right on top are the nasal bones, right? One and two, two nasal bones, two zygomatic bones, two maxilla bones, and one mandible. So right here, also close to the nasal bone is the lacrimal bone right there. So it's really hard to see it in the white structure, but in colored structure, it is better observed. So here's a warmer. So the functionally, it forms the inferior part of the nasal septum. So it articulates with the sphenoid bone inside, ethmoid bone, and the palatine bones. The palatine bones, that's the hard palate, the roof of the mouth, that part of the maxilla, right? So this is the maxilla. That's the maxilla. But now we're looking at theorily and posteriorly, so this is the palatine bones. So the facial bones, mandible, maxilla, zygomatic, warmer, palatine bones, and nasal. All together there are 14 facial bones. So this was a quick review without going into the real small landmark details on the cranial bones and the facial bones.